A NASA panel formed last year to study reports of unidentified anomalous phenomenon, or UAPs, which we used to call UFOs, held its first public hearing today. The 16-member body with experts in physics and astrobiology highlighting the need for more high-quality data, especially as stigma hinders their research efforts panel set to release their final report this summer. For more on this, we are joined by investigative journalist and also the co-host of the Weaponized podcast, Jeremy Corbell. Jeremy, we always appreciate you when you are with us. Let's start with the biggest takeaway, according to you, from today's first public meeting. Yeah, everybody was really clear about this. NASA was very clear about this. Everybody talked about destigmatizing UAP, which is UFO, same thing, reporting. Uh, Dr. Nikki Fox even said that they suffered kind of abuse and harassment online just for as scientists trying to look at the unexplained. So it was just amazing to see all of these people come forward. Look, NASA, they're going to have a public report coming this summer. The FAA now has 68 UAP reports just this last February. So reporting is getting better. And Arrow, our government UFO program or UAP program, now has over 800 active cases. So it's working. We're destigmatizing the reporting process. I mean, so how do you take that to the next level, though, where people aren't getting threatened or people aren't mm -hmm. thought of as conspiracy theorists? Right. So we're so past that now. Luckily, there's actually legislation in place passed in the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act that protects whistleblowers, people that have testified in c congressional settings behind closed doors, classified settings that they have participated in essentially back engineering UFOs, where the hardware is. And, and if that is true, which everybody's being told it is true, we're living in a different era. So what is NASA's role in all of this? Well, UAP or UFO, they're just unidentified. But if we don't know what's in our airspace, that's a national security issue. So NASA is looking to remove stigma, enroll more of the scientific community, and encourage more UAP reporting to get better evidence. It's very encouraging. Well, speaking of objects in our airspace, we haven't actually talked to you, Jeremy, since the Chinese spy balloon was shot down. I believe that was back in February and then subsequently other balloon sightings. Did those instances help or hurt the overall UFO debate? You know, UFOs, it's not a debate. If you don't know, you just haven't been paying attention. There are unidentified craft of unknown origin that outpace and outmaneuver anything that we have in our arsenal. So the question is, where do they come from? We know they're not Russia. We know they're not China. We know that they're not ours. So UFOs is not a matter of belief. So the debate that occurred over the Chinese spy balloon thing, look, it's good. At what we're doing is we're adjusting our sensor systems to better defend our skies. UFOs are real. We have to get to that point of consensus that there are machines and we don't know where they're from. What do you hope? Yeah. I mean, to, to that end, this was the first public meeting that happened today. Uh, I, I believe that the public can comment as of Friday on this. Uh, and, and then eventually they'll, they'll uh, put their final report together for summertime. What are you expecting from that report? What do you hope comes of this panel? Look, this is science. This is going to be a slow process. This is not a final report. This is a preliminary report. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the communication between our service people and our government and our public. And there's going to be UFO or UAP transparency so that's what i want we're living in a different world from last we even talked so the goal is to be honest with the american public and the global public and to really understand the fabric of the universe that we live in it may be much larger than we have been told when we were growing up in school well and to that point how is it possible when you look at the size of the universe and you look at our size in comparison to the size of the universe that we are the only form of life anywhere in the universe. Does that even make any sense? 
You know, um, I'm just a journalist. I'm not a physicist, an astrophysicist. I'm not even a mathematician. So here's the deal. I, I don't know. But what I do know is that we have not had the full picture until now. And just now, this time in history we are in, we are starting to get a better global understanding of what it means to be a human being. And, and that's, that's exciting. So let's see, what are UFOs? What do they represent? to humanity. They've been with us a really long time. In fact, probably from the beginning. All right. He is the host of the Weaponized podcast, investigative journalist Jeremy Corbell. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you so much for covering this topic.